Well, I wasn't planning on doing a Battlefield 5 video this week, but a surprise update has dropped, the briefly delayed version 4.4 for Battlefield 5. And besides bringing us a couple of infantry only maps that we already knew about, it also came with quite a few quality of life improvements. First up, what you're looking at right here are the new cosmetics for all the vehicle classes. And as a vehicle guy here in the Battlefield series, this is something that I've been sorely missing since the ability to change your pilots and tankers in Battlefield 1. For some reason here in Battlefield 5, all of your tankers and pilots were stuck as the default female characters wearing the basic ground infantry helmets. This was especially odd as we'd seen a bunch of the pilot headgear in promo and concept art for the game, and you even see it in the intro level to the game. But again, for some reason since launch, all of our pilots and tankers have been locked as those default characters. Now, you still can't customize them, but these more authentic looking characters are most definitely appreciated by me. First up, check out the German pilot right there. Looks great. As long as you don't zoom out past uh, my immersion friendly outfit here to see whatever our squad mate is wearing. What on earth is all that? Get that garbage out of here. Then you've got the allied pilot also looking great. And yes, you can see them in third person through the cockpit. And it really does help me enjoy the game seeing I spend a ton of time in the vehicles. Although for some reason you can't see your own cosmetics on your squad screen, if you hop out of your vehicle, your teammates will see them correctly. You've also got your allied tanker here looking sharp in his red beret with his headset, and then your German tank commander as well. At this point, we just need that ability to customize them like the rest of our company, and I will be truly satisfied. Speaking of customization and your company though, the company has been expanded here in Battlefield 5 in this patch by opening up more slots to save your cosmetics for each faction. This nice improvement right here is that your cosmetics are linked directly to the character's name. So the face, if you will, of each character can now be customized with individual sets of cosmetics. What this means is, if you have enough different faces or characters per faction, and there are a good number in game already, you could for instance set up desert camo for a set of four of them, and then some snow camo for another set, and quickly swap between them in game. If you're like me, and you like matching your cosmetics to authenticity's style, and matching the map that you're playing on, that is a huge boost to the game's immersion factor. What's even more exciting is the fact that these changes are being made in order to make room for new factions coming in the Pacific DLC, which is going to be uh, free for everyone, of course, because this game has no premium program. Outside of cosmetics though, this 4.4 patch is exciting just because it didn't break anything, and it improved the overall quality of the game quite a bit. Although the in-game micro stutter isn't gone, especially here on PC, it is significantly better. And in fact, I've been avoiding playing the game for the most part all summer because of how bad the stuttering was. Today though, it was much more tolerable, and I got a ton of matches in. I saw a bunch of you guys out there, thanks for saying hi, even if I was uh, frequently too busy fighting to respond. A large amount of balance changes have arrived, including some increased hip fire accuracy for sidearms, and a number of upgrades for the bolt action rifles, which is really great because I think that the, uh, the bolt actions are a lot weaker here in Battlefield 5 compared to how much fun they were to play with uh, in Battlefield 1. I did a bit of iron sight fighting with my favorite M95 here today, and found it to be a lot more fun to use. Basically all of the medics guns also got a little bit of TLC. Overall they had their recoil reduced and had their uh, accuracy increased, so the medic guns are getting closer and closer to actually being viable choices. And even though I'm mostly focusing here on stuff that affects the game as a whole, that's because I'm definitely the large conquest, big mixed mode map kind of guy. Yes, we did get these two new infantry maps in this uh, patch as well. They are playable on Squad Conquest, which is a neat little infantry only mode, but I can only handle so much of the small scale uh, 8 versus 8 infantry only before I want to go back to the full scale, you know, battlefield. But I will say, as always, these maps do look really good, and yeah, they're pretty fun. 
I'm just really, really hoping that we get Al Sundan soon, because that's the big conquest map that I've been waiting all summer for. Please, DICE, you gotta fix it. Please. Who knows, maybe it'll all work out and they'll fix the last of the stutter and issues with the game that has been plaguing it all summer. Stuff like uh, poor hitboxes and invisible planes and invisible soldiers just in time to get that large conquest map out to the masses. That would be a perfect end to the summer, if you ask me. Oh, and speaking of balance changes, they've also been tweaking the uh, melee damage, and I had a bit of fun today getting some really nasty knife kills in. It feels a bit more, again, like Battlefield 1, where if you've gotten a hit marker, you can probably get a cheeky knife kill in there. So, yeah guys, finally, a overall really positive patch release for Battlefield 5, and it definitely needed it. The game has been in a very discouraging place over the last couple of months, and while this does not fix everything with it, it might be a sign that we're actually uh, climbing out of this valley and the game is starting to get towards a better place in preparation for the Pacific Theater content, which I know everybody is waiting for at this point. I will mention though that there are some server issues going on today. Go figure, right? Everyone's game client is finally running well, and now it's the servers that are struggling. It just looked like the servers were struggling to maintain a good ping, so hopefully that gets ironed out in the next day or two. If you guys have been like me, and you've mostly shelved Battlefield 5 this summer, perhaps patch 4.4 here is a good excuse to come back and give it another shot. Like I've said before, as a longtime Battlefield player, I do want this game to improve. I don't think we're going to see another World War II Battlefield for another 10, 15, 20 years. At that point, I'm going to be too old for this garbage, so I really hope that uh, DICE continues improving things and we get a nice big helping of the World War II theme before the end of Battlefield 5's life cycle. For now, here's some real-time impressions of the patch content as me and the usual squad try it out. That's James and Edgar for tonight. Hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you all next time. Oh, he's close. <laughs> yep. Good night. Weird. Oh. <laughs> well, that worked. A spawn beacon for you. Nice cheat. Oh yeah, yeah. Yeah, I, I just probably moved it to something else. Edgar, I swear, you and your keybinds. <laughs> I thought I was bad. <laughs> I just haven't played this game in forever. We need to find a way to have two keywords. One more, one more. What is it called? Is it called? There's a guy laying down in front of uh, my oh, no gadget. Toolbox. B? Oh. Now the Q is full. I need some serious backup at Alpha. I'm surrounded. Decided to not try to fix it up. There's guys like laying all in that grass out there. Nice. Some over here as well. All right, I got this rock right here. One down, the second one up there somewhere. Got two. There's a guy right beside. Guys going around that way. They're gonna get me. There's a whole yeah. bunch coming at me. I'm coming, Dave. I'm coming. Yes! I fired my cannon one last time before the plane hit me and got two of them. Edgar, you and I basically held back their entire team for the last couple of minutes. Look at the yeah, bullets. Yeah, on that, on that, yeah, on that. Oh my gosh, we got the whole thing. <laughs> hey James, there's a sniper in the tree line right there. See him? <laughs> <laughs> You know, I don't think he was expecting the back machine gun. I don't know, just, just, just feel safe. Oh, we 
lost Dolphin Charlie. Worth it. There's a tank up here too, be careful. Oh, you saw me. Oh, you got my my cover. <laughs> <laughs> Only in battlefield. <laughs> Dude, you flew really far. Yeah, uh, it's pretty funny. Edgar, if I can get one of the planes, I'm gonna try and take down this bomber that's been hitting us all match. He's still up there. All right, got one. Going for him. Where is he? Oh. I'm sure he's got those bat guns. Oh, yep, he's melting me. <laughs> uh. Ooh, alright, fake him. Ooh, I got him. Man, dude, I am rusty. Good to be back, though. <laughs> 